Happy last day of school, kindergartners. After today, it's official. You can call yourselves first graders. You did it. You made it. I thought I would come to you not from the beehive and not from my deck, but from our classroom. One last time with one last read aloud. I'd like to share that with you. The other thing I'll be sharing with you later today is a link for our kindergarten slideshow, which was all put together by Miss Lundy this year. And we're hoping that the format you receive within your link will be able to be opened and viewed. But if for some reason you're having difficulty with that, please let me know and we'll We'll keep at it until we get it right. Um, so again, that kindergarten slideshow link will be sent to you later today. And, um, and then shortly in the mail, you'll receive your child's report card, which, um, as we may have already said, won't have any specific scores, any specific rubric scores on it, um, but it will have a comment that kind of wraps up, um, culminates the, the third trimester for you and the work that you did with your online learning. So here we go. Our last read aloud story in our kindergarten classroom is called Miss Bindergarten Celebrates the Last Day of Kindergarten, which is what today is. Let's see how Miss Bindergarten celebrates that last day with her class. We saw Miss Bindergarten in a story at the beginning of the school year. We also saw her again on the 100th day. We got to see how her class celebrated that. Now we're going to see how they get ready for the last day and a summer filled with hopefully lots of fun and happy memories being made. So here's Miss Bindergarten. She is taking down all of their work and getting it ready to send home with them, just like we recently did with all of you. It's the last day of kindergarten, and oh, 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 Adam brings carnations. Brenda has perfume. Who are they giving carnations and perfume to? Hmm. Christopher says, it's for Miss B, a big goodbye balloon. Miss Bindergarten celebrates the last day of kindergarten. So there she is waiting to greet the boys and girls on their last day, just like we did throughout the school year with handshakes and hugs and high fives. Danny scrubs a table. Emily hands back rocks. Franny clears her bin and shouts, Oh no! Three smelly socks! Oh! I'm glad, since you weren't here to clean out your own bins this year, Mrs. Elberg had to do it for you, that there were no smelly socks in there. Miss Bindergarten celebrates the last day of kindergarten. Gwen collects the building blocks. Henry packs them away. Ian hides beneath the desk. I really want to stay. Ian is sad. He doesn't want to leave kindergarten. And I can tell you if you're feeling that way too, it's okay. First grade is also pretty fun. Miss Bindergarten celebrates the last day of kindergarten. So look at that. She has the kids helping her pack up the classroom. I wish I was that lucky. Jessie shows off her bathing suit. Kiki says, mine pinches. Ooh, time for a new one. Too tight. Lenny says, that's because you've grown a whole two inches. Maddie sets up a sprinkler. Noah connects the hose. Ophelia tries to take a drink and gets squirted in the nose. 
Miss Bindergarten celebrates the last day of kindergarten. Wow, they had some fun water play on their last day. That's exciting. Patricia passes pizza. Quentin says, cheese please. Rafi's pepperoni slices balance on his knees. Lots of fun rhyming going on in this story. Miss Bindergarten celebrates the last day of kindergarten. Oh, they're decorating these bags. What's going to go inside? Sarah signs a memory book. Tommy prints good luck. Ursula tells about their trip to see a fire truck. Vicky hands out prizes. Wanda shouts, tremendous. Xavier gets a ribbon for perfect class attendance. He did not miss a single day of school, which means he must be a pretty healthy child as well. Miss Bindergarten celebrates the last day of kindergarten. Oh, and look at that. Just like I packed up all of your supplies inside a bag. That's what they're busy doing as well, putting all of their things into a paper bag to take home with them. Yolanda yells, we love you. Zach gives a cheer. Goodbye, kindergarten, says Miss B. It's been a special year. Yeah. Every year is special. This one was especially unique, though, wasn't it? Here's a little gift for you. A penny and a kiss. The penny for success to come and the kiss that you'll be missed. Miss Bindergarten says goodbye to kindergarten. Oh, I see some sad kindergarten faces. Some happy kindergarten faces, a mix of emotions. And same thing with the parents, too. Some sad and some very happy. There she goes. This will be Mrs. Elberg later today. Walking out of a clean, bare classroom and saying goodbye until the fall. Well... I thank you, boys and girls, for finishing off the year strong, even though we weren't able to finish it off the way we wanted to, which is together here in the classroom. But I am so excited for you and for what's to come in your futures. You are an amazing, amazing group of boys and girls. And I wish you an awesome summer, a safe summer. Hopefully I'll see some of you around town. And as I said earlier, we will work hard to get that link of the kindergarten slideshow, which is cute as can be, out to all of you. Please let me know again if you're not able to open it or view it um, so that we can, we can get it right. Thank you. I miss all of you. And I'm excited to continue to watch you grow. Have a great summer, and as I said before, I hope to see you around. Bye.